The Jedi were regarded among many to be peacekeepers who sought to protect the galaxy from all kinds of evil. But there were moments across the Jedi's long history that may muddle this accepted notion, including what may be the most evil thing they ever committed, the Sith Holocaust. And when we say Sith, we aren't exclusively talking about the Sith Order and those who harbored the Dark Side powers and the titles of Lord and Emperor. We are talking about the entire Sith species, which consisted of billions of innocents. So what led the Jedi to commit such a heinous act? It began with the Great Hyperspace War, the first conflict between the Galactic Republic and the original Sith Empire. The war took place around 5,000 years before the Clone Wars. The Sith Empire was in a way created by the Jedi long ago, when they exiled a group of their own who they considered to be too dangerous. Those exiled were known as Dark Jedi, who during their exile came across the Sith homeworld of Korriban. The Dark Jedi made contact with these red-skinned people and noticed that they were strongly connected to the Force, particularly the Dark Side. So the Dark Jedi combined their knowledge of the Force with the Sith magic practiced by the Sith people to develop strong, unnatural Force abilities that would become a staple to future Sith Lords. Many years had passed, and the original Dark Jedi that had come to Korriban had died off, leaving only their Force knowledge to the Sith people who used it to build up an empire within their isolated corner of the galaxy in the Outer Rim. One day, a pair of Republic Deep Space Explorers accidentally landed on Korriban and made contact with the Sith. They were immediately imprisoned, as the Sith believed they were spies who were from a government that was preparing to attack them. This paranoia of the Sith possibly stemmed from the past of when the Infinite Empire ruled by the Rakata attempted to invade Korriban by at first appearing as friends. The historic Rakadan attack devastated Korriban, so the Sith weren't taking any chances this time, possibly hoping to not be the victims of another surprise attack, as well as wishing to expand their own empire and conquer new worlds. The Sith Empire located the Galactic Republic and attacked some of its most important planets, including Coruscant thus marked the beginning of the Great Hyperspace War. The Sith Empire made quick gains in the war, but ultimately lost when infighting occurred within its own borders. This infighting within the Sith Empire allowed the Republic to counterattack and effectively fight back the Sith to their own territory and disable their ability to launch any more offensive attacks on Republic worlds. In other words, the Sith no longer posed a threat to the Republic, but some within the Republic felt that wasn't enough and that the already defeated Sith Empire needed to be punished even more for starting what might have been the most devastating war the Republic had fought in its history at that point. So the Supreme Chancellor named Pultimo gave the order to commit genocide upon all worlds within the Sith Empire's borders. This included wiping out the entire Sith species along with all others who so happened to live among the Empire's borders. The Jedi followed through with this order and spearheaded the genocides alongside with Republic forces. The Jedi probably thought that the dark side embedded Sith species were too dangerous to be left alive, and that by killing them all would eliminate the threat of them attacking again. Billions of defenseless beings were slaughtered as a result. This event became known as the Sith Holocaust in galactic history, and it was considered to be one of the biggest mistakes ever committed by the Jedi by later members of the Order. But these genocides were not successful, as a few groups of Sith and other people that were among them survived and escaped into uncharted deep space. They remained there, hidden from the Republic. The survivors spent the next 1300 years building a new empire under the leadership of a Sith Emperor who went by the name of Vitiate, who prepared his people to one day exact revenge on all those who killed their ancestors. When the time came, the Sith returned once more to the galaxy, and reclaimed their lost world of Korriban, waged war on the Republic, and sacked the Jedi Temple. The returned Sith became a force to be feared once again, as they forced the Old Republic to submit to their demands through the Treaty of Coruscant, which allowed the Sith to control half of the known galaxy with ultimate authority. Thanks for watching this episode of The Lore Master. Be sure to subscribe for more Star Wars lore videos like these in the future. And may the Force be with you.